Trent Radio 92.7 CFFFM in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. Producer Oriented Radio. Hello, Peter Bro. This is your host, Yamna and Kyle, and you're listening to Peter Bro Group Council. Uh, we're here today with Shatterbox. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, how you doing? Not too bad. How are hey, you? Hey, Peter Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys drove up here from Toronto. Yeah, that's a, yeah. absolutely. Nice yeah. little road trip. Have you guys ever been here before? Uh, yeah, I, I actually uh, come up here quite a bit. Uh, cottage country, lake field. Used to come up uh, nice, enjoy many, the trees. many, many weekends. <laughs> It's a good place to do that. Yeah. Um, so you guys have new stuff that you are planning to play for us today. They're going to be doing a live set in studio for us, and it's going to be awesome. So yeah, it's absolutely. your new album called uh, Before There Was No After. Yeah, that, that we that was, that's actually a couple years old now. We released okay. that in 2012. But, uh, yeah, we got some new material. We got a new uh, EP that's going to be coming out in the summer. So okay. we'll be playing some songs off of that. Awesome. So it's not even out yet and we get to hear it. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay. So stick around for that. Um, we're going to listen to more music now. Um, that was the Marvelous Bohunks. Just got back from dot, 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 <laughs> from Too Far Gone. And they're from Oshawa. We play them quite often. And this is Fields by Mike and the Mod Villains. They are from Toronto. Guide my hands and 
guard my heart from all I've done Save a space for my brothers and me We're back. That was Fields by Mike and the Mod Villains. We're just sitting here talking about cassette tapes and physics. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does your knowledge in physics ever seep into your musicianship and your writing? Uh, not so much not the so writing much. from a lyrical <laughs> perspective, but yeah, you know what? When you're producing, when you know you're looking at waveforms on on Reaper or on uh, whatever right. uh, stuff you're doing, it it comes in handy. Cool. So it definitely doesn't hurt. Um, so. Uh, who is the main songwriter? Is it like a collective kind of process? It's Frank and I primarily. Yeah, we yeah. both write uh, quite a bit together uh, on our own. Yeah. Okay. So that's Some, something. Yeah, sometimes I'll bring a pretty fully formed song to the table, and then you know Frank and I will work on it. We'll we'll tweak it, and increasingly uh, Mike, uh, who's the drummer, uh, is playing a much bigger role in the songwriting for the new batch of songs, as is our bassist, John. So it's, okay. you know, it's getting more and more collaborative, which is great. Awesome. So yeah, we have, uh, there's actually four people in the van, two of them here today. The room's a bit small to fit them all in, and a drum set. We could try. It would have yeah. <laughs> Next time. Funny Next attempt. time, yeah. <laughs> um, So how long have you guys uh, been a band? How long has Shatterbox been together? So Shatterbox, uh, is, it's been five years now. Okay. Uh, Frank and I had a band prior to that called The Septembers. Uh -huh. And that's uh, that'll be going on ten years this year. So Frank and I've been kind of playing and jamming and writing together for about ten years. So is the September's um kind of done? It's, it's done. It's yeah. done. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you guys have been jamming for a long time before Shatterbox as well. Yeah, yeah. So five years is the September's, and uh, and then uh, when we started writing our own music, that and then you know we 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 got a new drummer and a new bass player, and that's when we became uh, that's when we became Shatterbox. Okay. And yeah. you've always uh, kind of been involved in the like Toronto music area like that's where your roots are yeah pretty much yeah yeah we do okay. like yeah we just you know we, we do about between eight and ten shows a year and just in the Toronto area okay yeah. cool um, so who are some of your favorite I guess local bands that you've played with or shared the stage with that you enjoy or is it mostly like you guys set out to play a show with your well, Shadowbox? yeah we've usually just done just Shatterbox. Okay. Uh, we've started with, there's a, a really great band in Toronto called David McFarland Band. Okay. And uh, we've done a couple of shows with them now. So that rings a bell. It really rings a strong yeah. bell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good mean, band. Good band, yeah. Good. Uh, oh, listen to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, these guys have a Facebook too, so uh, you should find them. Is it just a uh, Shatterbox? Yeah. Shatterbox. And yeah. that's S H A T T E R E E R V O X. That's so, correct. what's yeah. the story behind your band name? Uh, well, you know, I guess, uh, where did that come from? Uh, what was that? Uh, okay, so it was, it was I, our original drummer that came up with the name. A guy named Steve, Steve Lytell, yeah. And uh, the idea being, you know, Frank would be like really pushing the, you know, pushing the vocals and screaming and, you know, the voice is cracking. So Vox is voice oh, and yeah. shatter, you know, shattering voice. That's awesome. why the logo has like the screaming mouth. Right. Oh, okay. Gives okay. the shattering voice. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. I like to go for some notes that sometimes I can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> and hope you don't shatter your box. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm actually looking at some of their CDs right now. How, if anyone wants a physical copy of your album, how do they go about that? Okay. Uh, well, so we'll, everything that we've released so far is on iTunes. Okay. Cool. Uh, if they go to the website, they can listen. So the website's just shattervox.com. So you can listen to all the music there. And you can, uh, if you click on the link, uh, we got a Bandcamp page as well. Oh, those are great. Yeah. So yeah. you know what? Anybody that wants a physical copy can just order it on Bandcamp. And, uh, right. you know, we've got a staff of uh, 1,300 that packages that. And, <laughs> oh, or yeah. actually, no, it's just me. Factory, yeah. Factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, to keep up with the demand, you know. <laughs> so... 
Bandcamp's a great website. Like, it's, I yeah. find it so much easier to deal with than the Facebook music page section that is, like, driving you insane all the time. Yeah. You know what I like about it, too, is um, we, we were able to, d- to upload the full WAV file, and you can download the full WAV file. So right. I'm an audiophile, right? So I like the, you know, I don't like the, the what you get out of iTunes or MP3s. Right. So I like the full WAV file. Better and, quality. Yeah. So you get the you can get the full quality recording off of Bandcamp, cool. which is nice. Awesome. Again, the nerdy physics stuff coming out there, yeah. <laughs> it's important stuff. Yeah. So we're going to listen to a band uh, called Comet. We've played them before. Mm-hmm. And the song's called Bossa Nova. Do you remember where they're from? Comet is from Toronto, I'm pretty sure. I think don't, it would be. Don't take my word for it. Local, close to here. Very good. Um, stick around because Shatterbox will be playing the set for us very, very soon. <laughs>
So I was Bossa Nova by Comet. We were sitting here marveling at their uh, amazing guitar skills. Um, awesome. So Shatterbox is going to play some music for us, some music that we haven't heard or no one's heard yet, I don't think, some of it. Yeah, this will be some, some brand new stuff that's going to be released this summer. Awesome. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll start with Sing to Me, eh? Let's do that, all right. Yeah, what do you think? Sure. Yeah, okay. Well, Frank, why don't you tell the story about this? And we'll... Yeah, this, uh, this is a song I wrote about my daughter, uh, Bridget. Um, Bridget um, has autism. She's uh, nonverbal. And it's a song about being in the park with uh, Bridgie. Awesome. <laughs>
When did you say you wrote that? I wrote that, uh, I guess, a few months ago. Um, I guess the, the words came up in my head just uh, thinking about my daughter and uh, the music came up uh, just goofing off on guitar right. and married them up and it worked. Awesome. You guys yeah. have, um, just with the two acoustics, a pretty full sound even without your uh, bassist. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, can we hear more? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got it. It's coming. Uh, you want to do a cool Canadian night? You want to do that? Or what do you want to do? I don't know. It's up to you, you guys. I'd love to hear a cool Canadian night. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a cool Canadian night tonight, so. All right, let's do cool Canadian night. Uh, whenever you're ready. This is, do you want to tell, I guess we wrote this song. Yeah. Uh, together. Yeah. Yeah. So in, some of them. Uh, yeah. Eric's basement. Yeah, a lot and of stuff gets written in my basement. Yeah. Eric was talking about uh, wanting to write something with the Canada in it. And uh, I was just thinking about walking home on many nights going to work and we came up with this song and it's called cool canadian night <laughs> all right ready yeah one two three four <laughs> That's the word we've been looking for. <laughs> Prehistoric. So who are some of your, um, I guess, 
there's four people in your band, mm. but um, some of your main influences, would you say? Uh, well, for me, it's uh, you know, I grew up listening to Zeppelin, Stones, all the harder yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot of influences from the early 70s, uh, all the folk singers, like, okay. you know, um, pretty much uh, Gordon Lightfoot, yeah. Uh, yeah, young, yeah. Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, yeah. James Taylor, Jim Croce. Yeah. Uh, and then and a lot of the punk stuff. When the Sex Pistols came out, they came out yeah. shooting. And the White Stripes, actually. White Stripes. Yeah, the White Stripes, Green Day. I mean, for yeah. me, ACDC. I like the Eagles a lot. Great for vocal harmonies. You definitely uh, hear a lot of that, like, amalgamation of both of your influences. Oh, good. Yeah, in good. music. Yeah, we just, uh, we don't want to be constricted or restricted to playing anything, you know? Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, you know, like you mentioned the song Coconut Day, right? Yeah. That's like nothing else that's, you know, that we've done yeah. before, right? And we're not afraid to do that. Like, we we kind of cover the whole gamut and some of the new stuff that's coming out is also very different than what we've done in the past so cool. and we're proud of that right like we're we're just lovers of music and you know frank and i we get together and we write songs and then at the end of the night you know we've got, I've got a huge vinyl collection in the basement and we uh we just start spinning the records and listening to all kinds of old stuff. We're and good listeners, stuff. like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, and it's great to play. So right now you guys have this very like acoustic-y sound to you, but you said you're usually a bit heavier, like you have a kind of a punk sound to you. Yeah, we got a hard rock punk sound. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You'll and hear you know that on our album. Yeah, you yeah. hear that on the album, and, uh, and and also, I mean, because we're playing acoustically today, we're choosing the stuff yeah, that exactly. suits it better. Yeah, exactly. We've definitely had bands come in here before, and they're usually like, "Oh, when we're on stage, we're super." Yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, we're actually gonna play one of your. Um, th I think this is off your new EP. I will remember. Is this gonna be on your new EP? Oh, well, this is a, a demo, so this you're a... getting a taste of uh, something totally new that we're experimenting right. with. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And if you want to go there, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Uh, and you'll hear pair. something completely different. And, <laughs> yeah. and that one's not even going to be on the EP in the summer. This is already something we're working on for next year. So okay, this is a, well, this is very so much this a, is a preview, work yeah. in progress. <laughs> and you can hear that in the song in the production. <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah. that's that's the fun part of it. So. Yeah, you'll, you might have to, you might want to ride the levels there a bit. But. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a I Will Remember a preemptive mix by Chatterbox.
different you're right yeah yeah uh i was telling these guys it sounded like a a mix between black keys and uh the police yeah hey we'll, well, take, we'll take it, it. yeah <laughs> <laughs> we actually were thinking uh we were thinking roxy music uh meets david bowie or something you know yeah yeah, yeah. i thought uh, i'd throw in yeah those voices i'm not gonna lie you know this is it's a again it's a brand new one still a work in progress but we're very proud of it you know, I'm we were excited to hear the finished product. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so can I make a request? Sure. Yeah. Can you please play Coconut Day for all the people who are cold and want to wish they were somewhere warm? <laughs> oh boy. I could I've be never played one. it on a guitar. Let me, let me see. If it's so. not possible, that's totally okay. The Harry Reid song. <laughs> oh no, I think it's like this. Hang on. trying to find it. Yeah, C, F, and G. All right? Or do you want to just sing along? Or I'll just sing, sing along. Yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. <laughs> C, F, and G. Well, you really put me on the spot here, but let's give it a go. guitar players, you can we play like along. That here. <laughs> and if you have a mandolin or something, you can play along too. C, F, and G. Well, it's a coconut just a coconut day, another coconut day, down coconut way. I'm gonna put on my flip flops and head down to the bay. I'm gonna roll in the sand, down coconut way.
happier and warmer. Yeah, <laughs> let's get happy. And I hope our listeners do too. <laughs> um, so I think we're going to play a song off your album, actually. Um, sure. And it's off of this one, right? Yeah. It's, uh, so the call, song is called, we've played it here before, you've probably heard it, She's a Mess. Perfect. Played it a few times. Yeah. So we're going to listen to that it's a favorite. Now. Um, it's your favorite? Yeah. It's, it's a, a fan favorite, favorite for favorite. sure, yeah. I like it very much. All right, so here we go. Oh, look at you. You're such a man. Uh, She's a Mess by yeah. Shattervox. And can you guys do us a favor and play us a little jingle uh, about us? Sure. You ready there, Frank? <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. Go for it.
How's that? Does that work? Yeah, yeah that was great. Audition. <laughs> I love I love hearing those. <laughs> um, Seem to be a hit. So could you um I guess choose one song out of your thirty songs uh, to leave us off with tonight? Yeah. Uh, do you want us to play it? Like yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. You know, just do Caroline. You want to play one? Yeah. Sure. You want to do Caroline or Ocean Swirl? Uh, maybe the ocean swirl. Yeah, you want the ocean swirl? I think we'll throw the climate change out. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go Peter see. Wrote, climate change. <laughs> yeah, take it away there, Frank. This is a song about climate change. <laughs>
Thank you for having us. Thank you. Um, Thanks a lot. Yeah, we really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. yeah thank well, you. I'm sure everyone cool else station. listening to you too. Uh, so find Shatterbox on Facebook. Find their band camp. Uh, we'll post some of the information on our Facebook page, Peterborough Groove Council. And yeah, thank you for listening. Um, stay warm. On Thursday is the Black History Month Poetry Slam at the Spill, 123 Slam, qualifying for SIPS, the Canadian International Spoken or um, Independent Spoken Word Festival. So. Show up because it's going to be awesome. Um, the next song we're going to play for you guys is 20 M Sound Child, Crazy, and I the Mont Mountain will see you all off. Thank you guys again. Thanks. Thank say you. bye to Peter, bro. See you, Peter, bro. <laughs> see you, Peter, bro. Love you. See you next week. <laughs>